Hello my dear students, today we will solve exercise 3.4 from the textbook of CBSC board NCRT mathematics of grade 6. So let's start exercise 3.4. Here this is the first question. Find the common factors of 20 and 28, 15 and 25, 35 and 50, 56 and 120. Okay. But before to find common factors, you should know about factors as well as about common factors. So, uh, in these two videos, I have explained about factors, common factors, as well as multiples and everything in easier way. Okay, if you go through these two videos, it will be easy for you to solve exercise 3.4. So, the link is there in the description. Just go through these videos. Okay. So, let's start solving. So, the first number is 20 and 28. Uh, to find common factors, first we have to find the factors of these two numbers. The factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. And factors of 28 are 1, 2, 4, 7, 14 and 28. Here I directly gave the factors of those numbers. I didn't told you how to find factors here. Okay. Because in my previous video, uh, I have explained about how to find the factors. Just go through those videos. Okay. So now to find common factors, we found first factors of these two numbers. Now we have to check whether any number is common between these two factors. Yeah. Here we have 1, 2, and 4, these 3 numbers are common, okay? And other numbers are different. So, these 3 numbers are the common factors of 20 and 28, okay? Now, let's move to the next one, that is 15 and 25. To find common factor, first we have to find the factors. So, factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5 and 15. And factors of 25 are 1, 5 and 25. Now, if you look carefully, you will understand that here 1 and 5 are the common. So, the common factors of 15 and 25 are 1 and 5. Okay. Now, let's move to the C1. That is 35 and 15. Now, first we will find the factors of 35 and those are 1, 5, 7 and 35. And factors of 50 are 1, 2, 5, 10, 25 and 15. Now here we are finding that 1 and 5 are the common. So common factors of 35 and 50 are 1 and 5. Now next one is 56 and 120. Uh, let's first find factors of 56 and those are 1, 2, 4, 7, 8, 14, 28 and 56. And the factors of 120 are these many numbers are there. Okay. Um, now... Uh, let's find common numbers. Here we have 1, 2, 4, 8 and no. Okay. So the common factors of 56 and 120 are 1, 2, 4 and 8. Okay. Uh, you have to find all the factors of the given number. Okay. If you miss any number, the common factor may get missed and you will get the less marks. So, you have to try to find all the factors of that given number. Okay. And I have explained you how to find all the factors of the given number in my previous video. Okay. Now, let's move to the next question that is find the common factors of. Uh, this is the same question. Just here they have given three numbers. Okay. Uh, so, let's find. The first one is 4, 8 and 12. So, first we will find the factors of 4. And those are 1, 2, 4. And the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, 8. And the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. Okay. Now, here we are finding common as 1, 2 and 4. Therefore, the common factors of 4, 8 and 12 are 1, 2 and 4. Okay. Now, the next one is... 5, 15 and 25. Now for that first we will find factors of 5 and those are 1 and 5. And the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5 and 15. And the factors of 25 are 1, 5 and 25. Okay. Now, now here we are finding 1 as the common 
and phi as the common. Therefore, the common factors of phi u 15 and 25 are 1 and phi u. Okay. Now, let's move to the third question. The third question is find first three common multiples of. Now, here we have to find common multiples. Uh, for that, you should know how to find multiples. Okay. So, first, the first one is 6 and 8. So, first we will find common, multi, uh, sorry, first we will find the multiples of 6. And those are these many. And we can find more than these also. Okay. Now, let's find the multiples of 8 are these many. I found just this much. Let's check uh, whether we are getting first three common multiples in this. If we didn't get, we have to extend these multiples. Okay. So, the first common multiple here is 24. Next is 48 and next is 72. So, just they have told us to find first three common multiples. So, these are the first three common multiples. Okay. So, the first three common multiples of 6 and 8 are 24, 48 and 72. Now, let's move to the next one. That is 12 and 18. So, multiples of 12 are these many and multiples of 18 are these many. Okay. Uh, to find multiples, it's very easy. We have to just multiply with the any number. We will get the multiple of that number. Okay. So, here we are getting common as 36. 72 and 108 huh? okay uh, if we extend these multiples we may get more num more common multiples so here the first three common multiples of 12 and 18 are 36 72 and 108 now let's move to the fourth question that is write all the numbers less than 100 which are common multiples of 3 and 4 so, for this, we have to find the multiples of 3 and multiples of 4 till 100. Okay. Now, so, the multiples of 3 are these many. Till 100 means we have till 99 and multiples of 4 are till 100. Okay. So, if we uh, compare, if we are getting here 12 as the common, next 24, next 36, 48, 60, 72, 84 and 96. Okay. These are the common numbers, common multiples of 3 and 4. So, the common multiples of 3 and 4 less than 100 are 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84 and 96. Okay. Now, let's move to the next question. That is fifth one. Which of the following numbers are co-prime? Okay, in my that previous video, I have also explained about co-prime. Okay, so co-prime is the numbers, is the two numbers which have only one as the common factor. Okay, not more than one. Okay, and that one number is the only one number. Okay, so let's understand with the help of, uh, by with solving this first question. Okay, the first one is 18 and 35. To find whether these two numbers are co-prime, we have to first find the factor of these two numbers. So, the factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. And factors of 35 are 1, 5, 7 and 35. Okay. Now, if you look carefully at these two factors, uh, if we compare, we are getting only one as the common. Okay. And no other number is common. Uh, all are different. Therefore, these two numbers are co-prime numbers. Okay. Now, let's see the next one that is 15 and 37. Uh, so, for that, we have to first find factors of 15 and those are 1, 3, 5 and 15. And factors of 37 are 1 and 37 because 37 is a prime number. So, if we compare here also, we are getting, getting only 1 as the common number. Therefore, 15 and 37 is also co-prime number. Okay. Now, let's move to the next one. That is C1. Uh, 30 and uh, 415. Now, here again, we have to find the factors of 30 and those are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15 and 13. And the factors of 415 are 1, 5, 83 and 415. Now, if we compare, we are getting 1 as the common and 5 as common. 
so here we are getting two numbers as a common factor therefore these two numbers are not co-prime co numbers okay now let's move to the th fourth one that is 17 and 68 uh, first we will find factors of 17 and those are 1 and 17 because 17 is a prime number now next one is 68 the factors of 68 are 1 2 4 17 34 and 68 Therefore, here we are getting two factors as common that is 1 and 17. Therefore, these two numbers are not uh, co-prime numbers. Okay. Now, let's move to the fifth one that is E1. 216 and 215. So, first we will find the factors of 216. And those are these many numbers. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 and so on okay and the factors of 215 are 1 5 43 and 215 now if you compare you are getting only one as a common number therefore the 216 and 215 are co-prime numbers the next number is 81 and 16 so first we have to find the factors of 81 those are 1 3 9 27 and 81 and the factors of 16 are 1 2 4 8 and 16 now here we are getting only one as the common therefore 81 and 16 are co-prime numbers okay so we found that um a 18 and 35 15 and 37 216 and 215 81 and 16 these four pairs are co-prime numbers okay now let's move to the sixth question before that i just want to explain you about some more divisibility rules because to solve sixth and seventh question you must know these two these rules these are four rules Okay, so let's first understand these rules. The first rule is, if a number is divisible by another number, then it is divisible by each of the factors of that number. Means, see here, if a number, let's say the number is 36, is divisible by another number. Uh, as we know, 36 is divisible by 9. Uh, when we divide it, we are getting the answer as 4. Therefore, 36 is uh, divisible by 9. Okay, if a number is divisible by another number, here the number is 36 and it is divisible by 9. Okay, then it is divisible by each of the factors of that number. Means, this 36 is divisible by the factors of this uh, 9 number. Okay, so let's check the factors of 9 are 1, 3 and 9. And... Uh, yeah, as per this rule, the 36 is divisible by 1 and 36 is also divisible by 3. Therefore, we can say that if a number is divisible by another number, then it is divisible by each of the factors of that number. Okay. Now, let's move to the next rule. That is, if a number is divisible by two co-prime numbers, then it is divisible by their product also. Okay. Let's say... Here the number is 80. Okay. And we know that 80 is divisible by 4 and 5 and which are co-prime number. 4 and 5 are co-prime numbers. Okay. So then it is divisible by their product also. Means the product of 4 and 5 is 20. Means 20, uh, 80 is divisible by 20 also. Let's divide uh, 80 by 20 and let's check. 20, 4 is 80. Yeah. We are getting 0 as remainder. Means uh, it is divisible by 20. So, we can say that if a number is divisible by two co-prime numbers, then it is divisible by the product also. Okay. Now, let's move to the next rule. That is, if two given numbers are divisible by a number, then the sum is also divisible by that number. Means, if we have two numbers, say 35 and 14, and are divisible by a number. Uh, as we know, 35 and 14, both the numbers are there in the table of 7. Therefore, it is divisible by 7. Okay. So, as they are saying, if two given numbers are divisible by a number, 
then the sum is also divisible by that number means if we find the sum of this 35 and 14 then that sum is also divisible by 7 let's check by adding 35 and 14 we are getting 49 yeah as 7 into 7 gives 49 means 49 is divisible by 7 therefore we can say that if two given numbers are divisible by a number then the sum is also divisible by that number okay now let's move to the next rule that is if two given numbers are divisible by a number then the difference is also divisible by that number means same as the previous rule only just we have to find the difference between them uh, instead of adding them okay so let's take those numbers only that is 35 and 14 as they are divisible by 7 now let's find the difference between 35 and 14 it is 21 and as 7 3s are 21 therefore 21 is also divisible by 7 so we can say that if two given numbers are divisible by a number then the difference is also divisible by that number okay now to solve the next two questions you just remember these uh, four rules okay so the sixth question is a number is divisible by both 5 and 12 by which other number will that number be always divisible okay now here now here the rule is the rule which we can apply is if a number is divisible by two co prime numbers now we have to check here that uh, whether this 5 and 12 are co prime numbers of what okay so for that first we have to find the factors of 5 that is 1 and 5 and factors of 12 are 1 2 3 4 6 12 okay as we are getting here only 1 as the common therefore 5 and 12 are co prime numbers okay so uh, as the as per the rule if a number is divisible by two co prime numbers then it is divisible by their product also so um, that means the product of 12 uh, 5 and 12 is 5 12 are 16 means um, the number is 16 that number is always div divisible by 16 also okay so a number is divisible by both 5 and 12 which are co prime numbers by which by which other number will that number be always divisible means the number is 16 okay by way uh, that number uh, is always divisible by the 16 number okay understood now so let's move to the seventh question that is a number is divisible by 12 by what other numbers will that number be divisible okay now here we can apply the rule as if a number is divisible by another number then it is divisible by each of the factors of that number okay now here what they said if a number is divisible by another number if a number is divisible by 12 they have so told okay then it is divisible by each of the factor of that number means uh, and they have asked us question that by what other numbers and those numbers are the factor of this 12 so the factors of 12 are 1 2 3 4 6 12 so that number will be divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Okay. Now here your exercise ends. Uh, if you have any doubt regarding this, you can ask me in the comment box. I will explain you. Um, if you like my teaching, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye everyone.